You've probably felt like you were important in the big universe, right? Yes. What if you could talk to the universe and quickly change your fate? This audiobook is going to show you how. You will learn about the power of your thoughts, look into old ideas, and read about people who have achieved great things. You will also learn about common misunderstandings and get useful advice. Learn how to talk to the universe and start your journey to becoming your own best self. Are you ready to make changes in your life? Let's start. Lesson 1. How to communicate with the universe. You need to realize that talking to the universe isn't as hard as you think. It is not about hard rituals or secret languages. It is about focus, belief, and intention. These three things are necessary to interact with the universe in a good way. Let's look at each of these parts separately now. Intention is the most important thing. More than that, you need to know why you want what you want. If you don't have a clear goal, your message to the universe might get lost and not work. Attention comes next. Not worrying too much about your wants is the point. Instead, keep them in your mind. It's kind of like a gentle reminder to the universe of what you want. Lastly, have faith. Your intentions and attention are pretty much useless if you don't believe. You need to believe in the process, the universe, and yourself. Believe is what makes the whole thing work. Confidence means being sure that what you want is already yours. Don't forget that the universe is always listening and answering. It's not a question of if it will answer, but when and how. It's your job to make sure that your message is clear, consistent, and delivered with conviction. That's the most basic way to talk to the universe. Clear intention, focused attention, and unwavering belief are all needed for this process to work. If you can master these, the universe will be more responsive and helpful to you on your life's journey. Let's move on to talking about spiritual dialogue, which is an important part of this cosmic conversation. Lesson 2. What spiritual dialogue means. If you want to communicate with the universe, the next important thing you need to do is understand the idea of spiritual dialogue. This idea is not about a conversation in the real world, but about a conversation in the mind. It's about letting the universe talk to you through your heart and mind, and getting answers in ways you might not understand at first. Talking about spiritual things can go both ways. Not only should you send out your thoughts and prayers, but you should also listen and be open to what the universe has to say. There is more going on than just talking. You are having a conversation, an exchange of energies and ideas. The universe doesn't talk to us in words. It uses intuition, signs, synchronicities, and feelings. They are always there, ready for you to notice them, whether they are obvious or not. To learn the language of the universe, you need to tune in to this frequency. You need to understand that everything around you has a deeper meaning and that you are linked to everything else. To be good at spiritual dialogue, you need to become more self-aware and mindful. It's about being in the present, paying attention to the little things, and reading your experiences between the lines. It's also about being patient and knowing that the universe acts on its own time and in its own way. Third lesson, the influence of thinking positively. You can more effectively tell the universe what you want when you use the power of positive thinking. In fact, this is not just a saying, it is based on science. You can change the way you think in a good way through cognitive restructuring. This will then change how you feel, what you do, and how your life goes in general. Positive thinking doesn't mean ignoring the bad things that happen in life. It means dealing with them in a constructive and positive way. It's about hoping for the best instead of the worst. Having this attitude helps you connect with the energy of the universe and think about things that are in line with the energy you want to attract. You need to know that your thoughts have mass and power. Believe in good things and send out a strong high frequency 
that connects with the energy of the universe. Your thoughts are a good way to talk to the universe because they use this energy to attract what you want. Thoughts of good things turn into a language or frequency that the universe can understand and respond to. That's what the law of attraction is all about. What you like will attract what you like. In other words, if you are feeling good, you are more likely to attract good things. But it's important to remember that thinking positively isn't enough. It needs to be paired with good behavior. To make your dreams come true, you have to put in the work. You can't get where you want to go with positive thinking alone. It's like a car without gas. Lesson 4. Visualization. Making your dreams come true. Visualization is often a very useful tool for making your dreams come true. You don't just daydream or wishful think. You actively create images, scenarios and outcomes in your mind that are in line with your goals and desires. Visualization is more than just seeing a picture. It's about giving that picture meaning and emotion. The experience is so real that it affects not only your mind, but also your body. Your mind will be able to follow this plan as you make a clear, detailed picture of the reality you want to create. Studies have shown that the brain can't tell the difference between imagined and real events. You train your brain to see your visualized goals as attainable by building new neural pathways when you visualize. This tells your subconscious mind to make sure that your thoughts, behaviors, and actions are in line with what you want to happen. Visualization also changes your energy and vibration in a big way. Focusing on good thoughts and outcomes raises your vibrational frequency, which brings you experiences that are in tune with your higher vibration. It works like the law of attraction says, like attracts like. What's the first step in visualizing? It's easy. Find a place that is quiet and not being used by anyone else. Close your eyes and let your mind picture the life you want. You should feel it, believe it, and most of all, expect it. Plus, don't forget that the key is to practice often and consistently. Visualization is more than just picturing your ideal life. It's also about feeling it, believing in it, and making it happen. So start picturing things right now and watch how your world changes. Lesson 5. Philosophical Roots from the Past You may be curious about how the ideas of visualizing and talking to the universe come from very old philosophy. Let's look into this some more. It's not just a new age trend to believe in the power of spoken words and to visualize things. These ideas come from ancient philosophical ideas. People in ancient Greece believed that words had power and could change reality. This idea was called logos, which can be translated as word or reason. This is similar to how we think about the power of affirmations and visualizing things. The Stoics were among those who thought that the mind could change reality. They used visualization to get ready for what was going to happen and to make a mental picture of what they wanted to achieve. The ancient Indian philosophy of Vak, which comes from the Sanskrit word for speech, also held this view. They thought of speech as the way things were made and a way to change reality. People as far back as the Egyptians believed in the power of speech. Their sacred symbols, the hieroglyphs, weren't just pictures, they thought they had the power to change reality. You can see that these ideas aren't as new age as you thought. They come from ancient wisdom teachings that have been passed down from generation to generation. Speaking to the universe isn't the only thing you need to do. You also need to know how powerful your words and thoughts are. This is a timeless truth. Sixth lesson quantum physics from a scientific point of view. There's an interesting link between every thought and word you have and the rules of quantum physics. That's right. This isn't some crazy metaphysical idea. It's a scientific fact. A branch of physics called quantum physics studies the tiniest particles in the universe. 
It has shown that our thoughts and words can change the physical world. Let us break it down. The idea of wave-particle duality is at the heart of quantum physics. In other words, every particle, like an electron or a photon, can be a particle or a wave. It's both, not either or. Here's where things get interesting. These particles' properties don't become fixed until they are seen. The way you look at them, or your thought or word, tells them whether they are a wave or a particle. What does this mean for you? Simply put, your words and thoughts have the power to change the world. Quantum physics has shown that your thoughts, the way you see the world, and the words you speak, all have real effects on the universe around you. But that doesn't mean you can just think or speak your way into a new car. You still have to take action first. It's more about realizing that your words and thoughts aren't just things that happen inside your head. They're strong forces that can affect the outside world. You should be smart about which ones you choose because they are listening and the universe is responding. Lesson 7. The law of attraction is explained in a way that keeps tying into quantum physics principles, like attracts like, according to the law of attraction. This means that your thoughts and words really do shape your reality. There is no such thing as a passive observer in this universe. You are constantly interacting with the energy around you. Your thoughts, feelings and beliefs send out vibrations that are matched by the universe and make your reality come true. Break it down. Picture your thoughts as a signal that you send out into the world. You are sending out into the universe your hopes, fears and desires. You get this signal and it comes back to you in the form of your experiences. For example, if you think about debt all the time, you send out a frequency of lack and debt, which is then reflected back to you by the universe. Instead, if you think about having plenty and being thankful, you will attract more of the same. It's important to know that the law of attraction is more than just wishful thinking. It has to do with lining up your thoughts with what you do and why you do it. It's not enough to just think good thoughts. You have to believe them and act on them. If you think positively but don't believe it, it's like driving a car without gas. It won't go anywhere. Techniques for Effective Communication Lesson 8 Let's get right to it. Let's talk about ways to talk to the universe in a way that makes sure your thoughts, intentions and actions are all in sync. First and foremost, you need to be clear about what you want to do. In other words, you have to be clear and confident about what you want. The universe can't figure out what you want if you make your request too general. The next thing you need to do is use the power of visualization. Picture what you want as if it has already come true. Feel the joy, savor the accomplishment and bask in the success. Use all of your senses to do this. The message to the universe is stronger the more real it feels. Don't forget how important emotions are. The fuel that sends your intentions out into the universe is your emotions. Positive emotions like love, gratitude and joy give off a lively energy that makes your message stronger. On the other hand, negativity weakens the signal, so keep a positive attitude. Another useful method is writing down your plans. Writing down your wishes not only makes them real, but it also helps you remember them. It is a strong way to make your dreams come true. Last but not least, be patient and persistent. Don't forget that the universe doesn't follow your timetable. Don't give up if you don't see results right away. Keep saying what you want, have faith that doesn't waver, and be ready to receive. If you use these techniques regularly, they can help you talk to the universe better. They're not spells. They're steps you can take that are based on the law of attraction. If you can control them, you will be well on your way to getting what you want. The Power of Meditation Lesson 9 You will find that meditation is a powerful way to talk to the universe after you have learned these other techniques. 
When you meditate the right way, you can tap into an inner power that can help you feel calm and clear. First, know that the goal of meditation is not to reach a state of emptiness, but to reach a state of awareness. It's all about focusing your attention and getting rid of the thoughts that are making you feel confused. Mindfulness is the word for this. Meditation can help you become more mindful, which means that your thoughts, feelings and sensations don't run your life. Instead, you just notice them without judging them. The second thing that makes meditation powerful is not just that it makes you feel calm, but also that it connects you to the universe. To receive guidance and new ideas, you can tune into the universe's subtle energies. This can be done by clearing your mind. Finally, don't rush through the steps. Meditation needs practice, just like any other skill. You can start with as little as five minutes a day and slowly add more time as you get used to it. Remember that the goal is not to make people quiet, but to enjoy the silence. How Affirmations Work is covered in Lesson 10. In order to talk to the universe, the next thing you can do is use affirmations. It's also important to know how they work. You can say affirmations out loud or in your head. They are positive statements that give you power. They are made to fit your specific needs and goals and are meant to help you change your negative, limiting thoughts into positive, uplifting ones. Affirmations are more than just positive self-talk, despite what you might think. Affirmations work deep down in your mind. It's like reprogramming your brain, changing the neural pathways that control what you think and do. It's like telling your brain, this is what I believe, this is what I want, and this is who I am. After a while, your subconscious mind starts to believe these things. There may be changes in the way you think, act, and follow through. But keep in mind that affirmations aren't a magic bullet. They won't solve all of your problems right away. On the other hand, they can be very useful if you use them along with other techniques like meditation, visualizing, and setting goals. Also, you have to say your affirmations every day. You can't expect things to change after just one time. They need to be done often, ideally, every day. Affirmations work best when you say them over and over again. You can start using affirmations to talk to the universe now that you know how they work. Lesson 11. Putting your daily gratitude practice into action. Regular practicing of gratitude can greatly enhance your connection with the universe by encouraging you to notice and value the wonderful parts of your life. If you do this every day, it can change the way you think, make you happier, and improve your overall health. You can start writing in a gratitude journal every day as a way to start practicing gratitude. Write down at least three things you're thankful for every day. Nothing fancy is needed. Even simple things like a sound sleep, a tasty meal, or a warm shower can be appreciated. Speaking out loud is another effective method. You can pick a certain time of the day to say thank you, like while you're drinking your coffee in the morning or right before bed. It might feel weird at first, but after a while, it will feel normal and good to do as part of your routine. Getting other people involved in your practice of gratitude can also be helpful. Tell a friend, partner or family member how thankful you are. It will not only make your relationship stronger, but it will also help them start thinking about being thankful. Lastly, add being thankful to your meditation routine. During your mindfulness practices, try to think about the things you are thankful for. In this way, you train your mind to be in the present moment and to enjoy the good things in your life. The function of emotions in manifestation is covered in Lesson 12. Your emotions are very important to the process of manifestation because they connect you with the universe in a powerful way. Like a radio signal, each emotion you feel sends out a different frequency. When you're feeling good emotions like love, joy or gratitude, you send out high-frequency signals that bring about good things. 
Negative emotions, on the other hand, like fear, anger or disappointment, send out low-frequency signals that can bring about bad things. Think of your emotional state as a magnetic field. The energy you give off attracts experiences that have the same vibration as yours. It's simple. Things that are like each other attract each other. Being able to manifest things becomes easier the stronger and more stable your emotions are. In other words, if you consistently think about good feelings, good things are more likely to come into your life. Here is the text with more punctuation. This doesn't mean you should hide or ignore your bad feelings. Recognizing them is important for emotional health because they are a normal part of being human. It's important not to let them take over your emotions, though. You should instead recognize them, learn from them, and then consciously change your mood to one that is more positive. Remember that the universe doesn't know the difference between what you imagine and what is real. It only responds to the energy you send out. To improve your ability to manifest, it's important to consciously cultivate positive emotions. Let's look at another interesting way that dreams can help you talk to the universe after we've talked about how emotions play a role in manifestation. Lesson 13. Talking to others through your dreams. There are a lot of people who may not know that dreams can be a good way to talk to the universe. It's not as crazy as it might seem. You have dreams because they come from your subconscious mind, which is closely linked to the universal consciousness. Once you understand this link, you can use the power of your dreams to talk to the universe. Before you go to sleep, set an intention as the first step in the process. Make it clear to the universe what you want to say. That's not to say something important. It could be a simple question or a need for help. Being clear is important here. The universe responds best to intentions that are clear and focused. Next, pay close attention to what you dream about. They are the universe's answer to what you want. But things aren't always clear-cut. The universe often talks to us through metaphors and symbols, so you will have to figure out what your dreams mean. This might seem hard at first, but don't worry. You will get better at reading the language of the universe with practice. Finally, don't think that a dream isn't important. Every dream has the potential to teach us something important. If you're having a hard time figuring out a dream, don't jump to conclusions. Wait, the meaning might become clear in time. In the end, dreams can be a great way to get your point across. You can find out what the universe is trying to tell you by being clear about your goals and paying attention to your dreams. Now let's talk about another tool that can help with this, writing in a journal. Lesson 14. Writing in a journal is a way to free your mind. So, how does writing in a journal fit into this conversation with the universe? When you write in a journal, your thoughts, feelings, ideas and experiences become real. It's a useful tool for expressing yourself and talking to other people. When you write, you do more than just put words on paper. You send vibrations out into the universe. People think that these vibrations interact with the universal energy and could change your reality. Think about it this way. When you write in a journal, you're talking to the universe directly. The universe can understand your dreams, wants and goals because you are making them real. This is like the idea of manifesting or visualizing. You are making your thoughts and desires real, which helps the universe respond better. Keeping a journal also helps you see things more clearly. When you write, you're basically putting your thoughts in order. This process helps you become more self-aware and think about yourself, which helps you figure out what you want and need. In turn, this helps you communicate your goals more clearly to the universe. Basically, writing in a journal is a useful and effective way to talk to the universe. It's a way to learn about yourself and grow as a person, and it's also a powerful way to bring things into your life. And don't forget how powerful it is to write down your thoughts. You're not just keeping a journal, you're talking to the universe. 
Your words have power, and they might change the way things are for you. Lesson 15. How to understand synchronicities. If you start writing in a journal, you might start to notice that things happen at the same time. Carl Jung, a psychologist, said that synchronicities are strange events that happen for no clear reason but seem to have something to do with each other. They can make you feel like the universe is responding to your thoughts, plans or actions, and they can often help you understand or make decisions. Keep an open mind if you want to understand synchronicities. They aren't always clear or dramatic. Sometimes they show up in the form of recurring themes, numbers or patterns in your daily life. You might think about a friend you haven't talked to in years and then run into them the next day. You could also dream about a certain place and then see an ad for that place out of the blue. These events aren't just random. They're synchronicities that show a stronger link between your thoughts and the real world. To notice these synchronicities, you need to pay attention to your feelings and thoughts, as well as the world around you. It also means going with your gut. If something feels important, it probably is. Don't just write these things off as coincidences. Instead, think about what they might be trying to tell you about your choices or the path you're on. Getting to know synchronicities can help you find out more about yourself. It can help you find your true path understand what you've been through, and even talk to the universe. Keep your mind, heart and eyes open for these interesting events. You never know what they might teach you. Lesson 16. How to get past communication problems on your way to connect with the universe. The first thing you need to do is get past any communication problems that are stopping you. It's a process that needs dedication, self-awareness and reflection. You might wonder what these words and phrases mean. They are the fears, beliefs and other things that keep you from fully connecting with the universe's wisdom. The noise of everyday life is a big problem. The huge amount of information coming in all the time can block out the universe's subtle signals. So how can you get past these problems? First, you need to clear your mind. You can do this by meditating, going outside, or just making time for quiet moments during the day. By blocking out the noise, these practices help you tune in to the frequency of the universe. Second, you need to face your fears and beliefs that hold you back. These are the filters that change how you see things and how the universe talks to you. When you recognize and deal with your fears, you make it possible to talk to the universe. Last but not least, wait. It's not about getting instant gratification when you connect with the universe. It's a journey of self-discovery and growth. Over time, the things that used to make it hard for you to talk to the universe will become less of a problem and your connection with it will grow stronger. Lesson 17. Success Stories and Case Studies there are a lot of people like you who have broken down their communication barriers and made strong connections with the universe. Let's look at a few of these success stories to get a better sense of how they got there. Laura was a middle-aged woman who felt stuck in a life that didn't seem to be going anywhere. She had been having a hard time balancing her work and personal life, which made her feel stressed and unhappy. She started doing daily affirmations and mindfulness practices after going to a series of workshops on how to talk to the universe. Within six months, Laura said things had changed a lot. She had been given a raise at work and felt calmer in her personal life. Then there's Jack, a young man who is having a hard time with money. He was stuck and couldn't get out of debt. Jack started to change the way he thought about money after he learned about the power of positive thinking and setting intentions. He stopped seeing it as a source of stress and started seeing it as a way to reach his goals. Jack was able to pay off all of his debts and even start his own business in just one year. These two people are examples of people who have changed their lives by talking to the universe. There's no doubt that when you consciously work to lower your communication barriers, 
you are more likely to have life-changing experiences. Problems and Misunderstandings in Lesson 18 You may be eager to start talking to the universe, but it's important to know that there are common problems and misunderstandings that could get in the way. One of these problems is the need for quick results. Talking to the universe isn't like ordering at a fast food chain. You have to be patient and persistent. People often have the wrong idea that the universe is like a personal genie who can grant any wish. The truth is that the universe responds to more than just the words you speak. It responds to your energy and intention as well. Another problem is that your requests are not very clear. You need to be clear about what you want and why you want it. The universe can't understand vague desires. Another false belief is that people who ask for too much are greedy. These words are not accurate. The universe is full of everything you could want. A positive attitude is also hard to keep up, especially when things don't go as planned. This could make you think that the universe is ignoring you, but that's not the case. It's important to know that problems are part of the journey, not signs that you've failed. Not to mention another big myth is that only a few people can connect with the universe. This is not true. Anyone can do this. They just need to learn how to do it and practice. You are better prepared to handle these problems and misunderstandings now that you know about them. In the next part, we'll talk about some useful tips for beginners on how to talk to the universe. Lesson 19. Tips for beginners that you can use. Make sure you have a clear mind and an open heart before you start your journey to communicating with the universe. Quitting cynicism, negativity and doubt is important because they can make it hard to see things clearly and connect with the universe. Next, you need to make it a habit to meditate every day. This process doesn't have to be complicated. Just a few minutes of quiet thought every day can be enough. To make it easier to tune in to the frequency of the universe, the goal is to develop mindfulness and peace of mind. When you talk to the universe, it's also important to be clear about what you want. Don't leave room for doubt. Be clear about what you want and why you want it. Not only does this help you say what you want, but it also lets the universe respond correctly. Also, show appreciation for what the universe has already done for you by being grateful. In turn, this creates a positive environment that helps people connect more deeply and be more open. Last but not least, be patient. Don't expect results right away. The universe has its own schedule. Knowing this can help you stay hopeful and faith-filled even when things aren't going as quickly as you'd like. Lesson 20. How to find out about yourself. As you try to figure out how the universe works, you will also learn a lot about yourself. This journey doesn't go in a straight line. Instead, it's a complicated, multi-dimensional exploration of your deepest feelings, thoughts and beliefs. You will face your fears, figure out what drives you and question what you think you know. It can be uncomfortable to look into yourself, but it's necessary for growth. It is through your inner universe that you will learn more about your strengths, weaknesses and true values. This information is very important for your growth and happiness. Self-discovery requires time and patience because it involves looking inside and thinking about things. It's not about jumping to conclusions, but about becoming more aware and present. You will learn how to be still with your feelings and thoughts without judging them. By doing this, you'll start to see patterns, figure out what sets you off and understand how you react. Self-discovery is also an ongoing process. It's not a place you need to get to, but a journey you need to take. How you see yourself will change as you grow and change. Some of the things you used to believe will no longer help you, and you will gain new insights. You will come to understand that change is an essential part of life and learn to accept and welcome it. To put it simply, the path to self-discovery is the path to being real 
and honest. It means getting in touch with your true self, living by your values, and being honest in your daily life. Remember that the journey to understanding the universe starts inside you. You will really reach your full potential and connect with the universe when you look into your inner world. You have come a long way. You now understand the idea of universal communication, can use the power of positivity, and can shape reality through visualization. You have looked into ancient knowledge, heard success stories, cleared up misunderstandings, and learned how to become an initiate. It's not a coincidence that you are here, about to learn more about yourself. Remember that talking to the universe isn't a trick. It's something you do all the time. Say what you want to say, stay open, and listen as the universe repeats your deepest hopes and dreams.